Lindsay here from Georgina Public Library. I can't believe it's been almost a year since we first locked down. And in that time, through various openings and closings and curbside, I've seen lots of new books come in throughout 2020 that I don't think a lot of people were even aware of that we, that we received. Certainly publishing houses were uh, delayed in their publication runs and our vendors had trouble keeping stock and getting stock in. And a lot of the books that had um, a great deal of hype in 2020 are just rolling in now with long hold slips. But there are a lot of great titles that came in that people missed. And so I'm going to start a little video series highlighting some of those books, the ones that maybe you just didn't capture that you didn't realize had come in or that are worthy of attention. And because this weekend is Valentine's Day, I thought I'd start with the romance genre. So all of the books I'm going to mention have been mentioned in top 2020 lists for best-selling authors, best top romance. Um, some are multi-genre, they're humorous as well as romance but they generally fall into that category of love stories. And all of them have uh, some recognition through awards, popular readers lists, and great reviews. So I am going to start with this stack here. Um, these are all books that have had um, a lot of buzz, if you will. The Two Lives of Lydia Bird is not only on the top uh, 2020, I'm losing my stack, <laughs> not top 2020 list of romances, but shows up as a New York Times notable and a uh, Goodreads top read of 2020. So it's worth catching. Uh, Talia Hilbert, Hibbert is a British writer and she's written a series. Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Uh, this one, Take a Hit, Danny Brown, and I'm trying to remember the third one. It also came in and has a brown in the title. So fun because you get to read all three. They all came in this year. Uh, this one is for people who might like Kristen Hanna or Erin Hildebrand. Um, it's, she's, uh, again, hit all the top lists. What You Wish For. This is the audio book. We have it in the regular book as well. I am focusing on physical uh, items. There are lots that came in through our ebooks as well. Uh, <clears throat> so if you like J.J. Moyes or Hildebrand or Jane Green, we have Colleen Hoover. She's written a lot of books. We have most of her books. And this is her latest. Uh, this one, too, has hit a lot of... Um, lists. It's not just, uh, she, it's uh, her second book, so it's a top romance, but it's also got humor in it, and it's also considered uh, sort of a literary fiction as well, so so you'll see this title come up a lot on, on lists. And Happily Ever After playlist has been um, written up again through, the, got a Kirkus starred review as well as, again, Contemporary Romance, popular for 2020. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got my little cheat sheets here. <laughs> uh, Marie Hart, The Kissing Game, um, Interracial Relationships, uh, again, getting buzz. And in the last little stack that I've got here of top 2020 romances, another... Uh, uh, interracial um, themes if I never met you so those might be some of you want to look into if you want a nice well-written well-developed characters and well-received top romances of 2020 my next biggest stack are series kind of like the Danny Brown one but uh, this is a new author who's received awards <clears throat> If you're a fan of The Crown and it's a little tongue-in-cheek, uh, this might be the series for you. Both of them came out 
this year, and it's a new series that I think will probably continue since it's getting a lot of uh, good reviews and um, New York Times best-selling kind of uh, um, buzz around that. Okay, this author, Kelly Rimmer, um, is a New York Times best-selling author. She's a number of books, uh, not so much in the romance, uh, some of them are, but this is a new series that she's come out with. Undone, unspoken, unexpected. So well written, uh, but marketed as a quick, sort of fun romance. So now we're going to look at some books that give you a chuckle while you're reading. Uh, David Nichols had a bestseller last year called One Day, and this is his next one, Sweet Sorrow. Um, well written, it's about young love, but quite funny. And if you like Regency romance, uh, in the vein of the Bridgertons, that type of popular um, topic right now, this is to have and to hoax. It is a humorous romance. Jenny Colgan. This is one of hers that came in this year. If you like Debbie McComber, Robin Carr, you probably have already found Jenny Cogan, but if not, she actually had a few that came out this year that we received this year. And this is uh, one of them, 500 miles from you, and it's quite witty and funny. And then we... Um, <clears throat> have Tessa Bailey, again another New York Times best-selling author who's turned to um, light-hearted romance. And this is uh, a comedy. And as they say, uh, it's quite steamy, <laughs> apparently. So, uh, fix her up. The whole series is about a handyman and, and, and uh, uh, it's, it's verging on the um, steamy romance, but very funny. And, of course, always funny, entertaining Nick Hornby. And this falls into a romance category. So, you get to laugh along with Nick and explore falling in love. On the steamy note, uh, we have a, a classification in, in, uh, in library subject headings called erotic fiction. And um, this is the latest from Helen Hart. She's actually had a couple come in this year. So if you like erotic fiction, you're, you're probably already aware of Helen. And this is Tempting Dusty is her latest. If you do a catalog search under erotic fiction, um, you don't really get erotic fiction in the physical target. Um, for some reason it wants to think you're looking up Arctic, but you will see a lot available through the ebook side. And that's probably, if you're into this kind of uh, romance, that's probably where you want to explore more. It's on the ebook side. But Helen has a couple that came out this year. Ever popular? Shelley Shepard Gray and her series uh, in Christian fiction with the Amish stories. Um, this is one that came out this year, the trustworthy one. She actually had another one we received as well. So if you like this type of book and you like Shelley, there's a couple of new ones for you. Uh, LGBTQ themes. One that's receiving a lot of write-ups. It's on the best uh, seller, uh, the New York Times Notable, and um, on the Goodreads uh, Top Book of 2020, and on the Top Romance of 2020, Boyfriend Material. LGBTQ theming. There are others. You can look them up, too, in the catalog. This is um, uh, Michelle Paris. So she's a, a, a very funny um, um, blogger. She does a podcast, actually, on divorce and parenthood. And this is the mem her memoir on which that podcast is, is based. 
so popular. <clears throat> and then we have just feel good reads. Uh, this one's called The Switch. So it's uh, just sort of a life affirming story, is how it's described. A nice little romance. And if you like to escape into Regency romance um, in the vein of Sabrina Jeffries or Julia Quinn, Joanna Lindsay, we have Aloisa James' new one. Say yes to the Duke. Uh, she has a couple of others, I think, that came out this year, too. So that's just a handful of romance titles. As I said, all of them featured in top 2020 romance um, lists, and some also hitting other award-winning um, award winning lists or bestseller lists that haven't been discovered yet, largely, by our patrons, by our readers, by you. So I thought I would just bring those to your attention in the vein of uh, a happy Valentine's Day. And on that note, just in case you're not into reading the romance, but you might be thinking of relationships in the time of coronavirus, big friendships, how to keep each other close. That, that's a good one for right now. It's really hard when you can't see people. And another one, what makes a marriage last? So these are 40 celebrity couples who obviously um, are under a lot of uh, public pressure to, uh, it must be hard to maintain relationships in those circumstances. And it's 40 stories of really life-affirming, good marriages and, and tips on how to make your marriage last. And then if you're thinking you might want to have a nice dinner this Sunday, and we've all been hitting our kitchens a lot more, a few of the cookbooks that have come in that feature some really great meals, no crumbs left. This one's for vegetarians and pescatarians. And then, of course, dessert person. So lots of nice recipes in here. other new books that we received in 2020 that you might have overlooked.